league. <laughs> but ironically enough, player reaction to this continues to be strong against the commissioner and what he's doing. Most recently, Raven safety Bernard Pollard had this to say. From what I see, we're going to be running around with helmets and flags on, I guess in about seven years. So, like I said, it's getting out of hand. I don't know what Goodell is trying to prove. I don't know what the NFL office is trying to prove. Guys are getting hit all the time. We get hit. This is a freaking violent sport. We get hit. When asked if he condones the idea of bounties in football, Pollard continued, this is a game. This is a violent game. You can't take this away. You suspend a man for a whole year. You suspend a man for a whole year, and now you're looking for players to suspend. This is outrageous. You've got to be kidding me. Strong comments against Goodell's punishment. Does he have a point, though? I agree with him. I, I really do. You know, Goodell is a lawyer. He's leading as a lawyer, not as a leader. He's trying to protect the league from lawsuits, and there's lots of frivolous lawsuits out there. You know, I players call me trying to get me to give them players to put on the lawsuits, you know, for these concussions. But I don't... So you're saying he doesn't care about player safety? I don't think he does. Really? And I'll tell you why well, I don't think he does. That's a strong statement. He's doing what's in the best interest of the protecting league, the yeah. league. He's not trying to protect the players. Otherwise, you wouldn't have every disability claim, nearly everyone, denied right off the bat when, when you have these claims from former players that have true disability. You wouldn't have 200 workers. Is that a protocol? 200, yes, yes they're, we're going to deny them and make you go through hoops for two years until you get okay. your disability. Interesting. You, you, you have 200 workers' comp claims that are sitting there denied by the NFL that you have to fight right. in litigation. Every concussion workers' comp claim is denied wow. right off the bat. Exactly. If you care about player safety, that wouldn't happen. You would be trying to protect players and help them from the injuries they had from the game that, that you benefited from. You're trying okay, to protect were, the league. Those injuries were sustained under commissioners who didn't care about player safety. So why should Goodell have to pay for well, that? Well, some of them may be because reason, though. You, you, it's workman comp law, Skip. You have to pay for an injury that happens when you're on the job. That's that's the law of the land. That's how it works. I, you're I know, just, but you already told me it's like war. It's You, you compared it to going to war. So, so yeah, guys are going to get hurt a lot. Correct. Why wouldn't you try to reduce the potential for the injury. Well, I, I, I think what he's saying is basically he's trying to protect himself from future lawsuits. That's that's basically what it is. It's, all, it's, all, it's what it's all about. It's not so much about what's happening on the field. It's about the NFL trying to protect itself in the future from lawsuits that are going to come down the path. And I think that's where they are right now. It's like a catch yes. net. Let's catch everything out in front of us because we don't want to get deal with these lawsuits in the end. And I, I, and I respect what Pollard had to say. I, I, I do. I think one thing about a lot of players that are current players and guys that played the position I played at safety you want to play at a violent clip. You want to play as hard as you possibly can. You don't. If you continue to try to back yourself down and listen to what Roger Goodell has to say, you won't have a job. You're, you're not, you're not going to have a job. Absolutely. And, and our job is built on fear: the fear of losing your position, the fear of losing your livelihood, which is football, the fear of, of not being as successful as you can and not winning. Because that's all about. If when you start losing those type of things, you don't play. You're not playing in the NFL no more. You're just a regular guy on the street, and that's why you see guys play as violent as they do, and, and they're prepared as the way they prepare, the way they do in the off seasons, because they have to go out there and compete at a high clip. So I, I, I applaud what Pollard had to say. Hey, remember, this is the same guy who took out Tom Brady for a while. Now that was okay, well, he did. Come on, he now. Well, come on now. Up, but, a, but a clean okay. hit, and, that's and a then clean he, hit. he did participate in the tackle that eliminated Gronkowski last year, basically, and clean. Or dirty. Just, just for well, it was, it was clean. It was clean. clean. <laughs> come on now. It was, it was, come on now. He's because you he get was, injured doesn't make it dirty. I just got to point to that. He was in the neighborhood of the Welker injury that eliminated him from the playoffs. <laughs> well, he was. He was in on that that yeah. tackle. But anyway, so just just. I love the right. way to do it play. Okay. I love the way Popper plays. Do you? Yeah, I love the way. Not he a play. dirty player. Not a dirty Skip, player. What makes line? No, no, he plays full speed. That's the way you want your guys to play. What makes football so popular? That's a great question. You know, you're, you're, and, 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 you're and I ask that question. For I'm talking else. about for the general fan out there. It's the physicality. It's it's the it's it's the no, great the violence, the, the, violence, the, violence the, physicality, the, the great plays, the big hits, and and we're on a slippery slope because if you take that out of the game, you legislate it out of the game, and you make players not play that way, and it becomes flag football like Pollard's talking, we're going to lose the popularity. Well, the and NHL your job has, been a, has been an example of that. No question. I mean, they have. For the most part, Try legislated a lot of the hits. fighting and okay, violence. Well, what if from this and point forward, the the right. okay. what if from this point forward, when you're drafted, you have to sign a waiver saying, if I get hurt doing this, because there's a high probability that I will get hurt, that the NFL is not liable for me going forward. Who's going to sign that? No one's going to sign it. Okay. Number one, that's illegal. Some guys will because somebody's going to play. Well, Skip's point is a good one. The NFLPA would never let him Darren, the same players, though, that are advocating this
violence by making statements like this, then how can they have it both ways and say, well, wait a minute, if we get hurt, though... They're not advocating not violence. They're advocating aggressiveness. aggressiveness. Yeah, exactly. They're advocating yeah, but a way of playing. Doesn't one lead to the other? I mean, it's... Aggressiveness oh, 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 lead to injuries. Okay, and when no, a guy please. gets injured, they should be protected. We pay out of our own salary to put into workman's comp. So if I pay out of my own salary to put it in there, then if I get hurt, yeah, I should be able to reward, get a reward from that benefit. I paid into it. Why shouldn't I be able to be rewarded for it? Before we go, percentage-wise, the guys that you know that have legitimate injuries... What percentage of them are taken care of financially post retirement? Less than five percent. Oh yeah, not, I wouldn't wow. even give it. Four, I wouldn't less. even give it three percent. Yeah, I would not give it three percent. Okay, strong. We're taking a break. Thank